as, as we said, from the from chicken sad, baka naman mas maganda ang prospects natin sa, sa industriya nyo. How are things uh, going in your part of the market? Uh, and how are things going now that we're trying to reopen to the world? Yeah, well, uh, um, uh, the problem now, uh, well, the, the in terms of export, the shipping, the logistics, no, it's a, it's a big uh, problem. Before, uh, you know, a 40-footer we used to ship from Cebu to LA used to cost three thousand mm. dollars, and now the price is anywhere from fifteen to eighteen thousand dollars. Wow! Wow! Yeah. Oh. Yeah. And, and that's even if you can get a container, you know, you have to book a console. Yeah. yeah, that that price really wipes out all our all the margins. So that's, that's the problem with export. And that's just yeah. that's just price. That, we're not yet talking. We're not even. That's just price. But you're also hinting at congestion, and I, I imagine the yes. schedules are, all, are are also all out of whack. Yeah, that's right. Yes, the the it's very hard to to book a container, and uh, yeah, no, that, that's, that's a problem. I guess. Uh, uh, bakit po? No, uh, so because, make us understand what's the cost of this shortage of uh, containers now well I, I i think i really think it's uh it's artificial you know it's it's uh all the shipping companies have consolidated so now president biden explained very well no there's only three big shipping companies left so it's like a monopoly basically in the shipping industry mm -hmm. yeah to keep because the shipping industries have recorded uh i mean they've announced record profits over the past uh, two years, so it started with, started with the pandemic, you no, know? and then uh, but now there should be no no problem with trade, but uh, the shipping prices are still high, and of course now they blame it on fuel. So, so uh, okay, that's so, yeah. so that's a problem for for our exporters. Yes. Uh,